So this is an effort to try to uh, do a review and continue with the lecture uh, for statistics PH A205. If you remember, um, uh, just give me a second. If you remember at the beginning, we had talked about statistics um, being of two uh, types of statistics. One type is being the descriptive statistics, uh, and where the other is the inferential statistics. And uh, we said that we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the uh, descriptive statistics, which is what we actually um, have done. Uh, and this is where we talked about uh, the, the, the probability, etc., etc. And we haven't started inferential statistics yet. So, um, as a review, let's see if we can do a quick review. Uh, we had talked about the fact that if, uh, if we have a variable, and I'm going to call it x, and if I want to know what is the probability of the variable x to fall between two values, and if you remember we said it could be A and B. Well, that is possible to do if I know the distribution of X, as X could be a blood pressure or anything. So if you know the distribution of X, and let's say if X uh, had this type of distribution, uh, let's say, okay. And I know this is not a normal distribution, and I did that on purpose. Well, if you're able to find A on the graph, and if you're able to find B, then the area that is between uh, A and B is two compared to the entire area. And it is what percentage is this area of the entire area? Then this is actually the probability you're looking for. And therefore, we said that, um, in fact, um, if, if you have a very specific type of distribution, uh, which is the normal distribution, and if I draw the normal distribution, remember, it looks kind of like this, and in the middle it has mu, and it's also divided by its sigma. Then if you're interested in knowing should the probability of x uh, to be between a and b, then you can find the answer to that uh, by doing a z transformation, where you transform this into the z distribution, right? Where mu for z is equal to zero, and sigma of z is equal to 1. And then you can change these two values into z values, and therefore you can actually find uh, the z values, and from the z values you can find the probability. All right, so let's do a quick review. Um, so for example, if I know that uh, blood pressure um, has a normal distribution where the mean is 120 and the sigma is, for example, 15. And if you're interested in knowing the probability that blood pressure X falls between, let's say, 100 and 130, then what you have to do is you have to transform these into z-values. So this will give you a z-value of applying the formula. If you remember, the formula is x minus mu over sigma. And so x is 100, mu is 120, and you're going to divide by 15. So the first value that you get is negative 20 divided by 15. That's about um, negative 1.25, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Just going to do it real quick. Um, OK, so that's 20 divided by 15, negative 1.33. Okay. 
is a negative 1.33. This is for the first one, whereas for the second one, you're going to do the same thing. So it's going to be 130 minus 120. And you're, then you're going to divide by 50. Now this time the z is going to be positive. So you're going to get a 10 and it's going to divide it by 15. You get 10 divided by 15 is, it doesn't want to do it for me. Divided by 15, 0 0.67. And if you remember, we had said that um, when you have a form like this, and you, so you turned it into, you were able to turn it into z between negative 1.33 and 0 0.67. Whenever you have something of that sort, uh, then what you do is you take the probability of the larger one minus the probability of z less than the second one, demon less than, I remember. So it's going to be probability of z less than 0 0.67, and you're going to do minus probability of z less than negative 1.33. And you, get, you can get these two values from the z table easily. I'm just going to get them from the Z table. Z table, all right. Okay, here's my Z table right there. So um, the first one is 0 0.67. 0 0.67 is going to give me a value that is. Trying to get it a big, a little bit bigger. Zero point sixty-seven. So here's zero zero point six, and I go all the way down to sixty-seven, seventy-eight, eighty-six is the answer. So zero point seventy-eight, zero point seventy-four, eighty-six, seventy-four, eighty-six then minus and we're going to pick up the value from the negative value which is negative uh, 1.33 so here's negative 1.3 remember on the negative side the 3 is here so negative 1.33 that's the 0 1 2 3 so 0 0.0918 0 0.0918 0 .0918. you do the difference and then you get it all right so here's um Here's a quick review of the Z. Next, we're going to do uh, the follow-up on that.